You know what Jesus called God? Allah in, in Aramaic. Yes? In Aramaic. Do you, know, do you read Aramaic? Elohim. No, Elohim is Hebrew. You don't even know the difference between language. You understand? What you're telling me is take, you take three apples, you put it in one bag, how many bags have you? Three bags or one bag? The difference is Jesus was always there and the Father was always the Spirit was always there. So to be fully God, you need to be always there, never, no beginning, no end. But when you join, be part of God, because I had the beginning, I won't have an end, then I can't be God, but I have part of God, meaning that we become one with God. Still so why don't you call the Holy Spirit the Father? Because according to your because statement, wait, 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 you said whoever makes the woman pregnant is the Father. Now you're saying the Holy Spirit made her pregnant. Yeah. Why don't you call the Holy Spirit Father? He has not died on the cross. He ascended to, to God Allah and one day he will come back and then he will die eventually after he has done the second phase of his mission the first phase was like basically give the message to the israelites the second phase is basically to kill the antichrist once he's completed that mission yes he's going to have a, he's going to basically live a life and then he's going to die eventually and this is our belief in jesus christ and we love him dearly and we actually condemn all those people who say that jesus a that he died or that in the Bible he calls people dogs. Do you know that? When a Samaritan woman comes to him, yeah, the Canaanite woman, he calls her and her daughter and the whole kind, I do not cast the bread of the children to the dogs. The Gentiles were called dogs. So if you were a Gentile at that time, you would be called a dog by Jesus himself. And we don't believe this is what Jesus would do. He's someone that we revere and respect. And the Quran respects and reveres him and his mother. In fact, there's an entire chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam or the name Mary and this is what we as Muslims give the respect and the reverence to Jesus, Jesus Christ we call him Isa and we say the words peace be upon him yes Isa alayhi salam and we do the same respect with all the other prophets because as Jesus says I'm the way the truth and the life remember he said he's the way not the destination similarly all the previous messengers and prophets they were the way the truth and the life because they showed the way to God Almighty to one God Almighty and they did not say he had a son on that he was three in one no they all said only one thing like in Deuteronomy 6 4 here O Israel your Lord God is one just like Jesus confirmed when he was asked what is the most important commandment and he repeated the same first commandment from Deuteronomy 6 4 or from the Old Testament yes so all these prophets they were the way and they all spoke the truth yes and this truth and this way will then give you eternal life and this is what Jesus meant yes eternal life how do you get eternal life the salvation gives you eternal life salvation comes salvation? by salvation comes by believing in one God without associating any partners with him and to follow the God's commands yes to the what best about, of your ability what about the people that believe in one God what about them uh, the other religion I don't get, they get salvation so that's that's a good question actually yeah that's a good question yes all those people for example the Jewish people they believe in one God yes there are many people who do believe in one God the Unitarian Christians they believe in one God yes however in Islam once Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had come yes if you believe in one God and Muhammad then you basically are going to heaven and this is a salvation and I don't mean straight away heaven obviously you have to pay for accountable for so God will judge you on the day of judgment and after this but eventually one day yes there's a hadith which says anyone who has even a mustard seed of Iman in his heart yes one day he will taste paradise and we do not disrespect the previous prophets we accept because Allah says in the Quran one of the six uh, articles of faith is Amin al-Rasul which is basically belief in all the prophets yes and this is uh, and Waqutubihi and his books yes Warusulihi and his prophets and messengers and this is what we believe in this is the core message of Islam the five pillars of Islam you might have already heard to believe in God to five pray five times a day to, Mecca. to yes to give zakat to fast during the month of Ramadan and if you can afford it to go and do pilgrimage well, well, to Mecca well then they're not required because Allah says in the Quran he does not test you beyond your scope 
Yes, he does not test you. So for example, if someone is very poor, then it would be unjust of God to expect him to go to Mecca, which costs like three, four thousand pounds to him. Yes, it's very expensive. It's not cheap. You can pay for it. You can pay for it. Sorry? You can help me out. You want to take Shahada now? <laughs> I'll pay for you. We'll prove together. Take the Shahada. We'll prove together. Yeah. Take the Shahada now. We go to Mecca together. No, I'm just, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought so. So, so basically, yeah, all the prophets is what basically came. We believe in. Uh, Muhammad is the last messenger who brought the last message, the Quran. And we believe that the messenger before him was Jesus Christ, and we believe him. And the messengers before Jesus, we believe, like Moses, like Aaron, yes, like Abraham, like Noah, like Adam, all the way. We believe in all these prophets of God, we do not reject them. Yes? The Christians, they reject Muhammad as a prophet of God. Yes? The Jews, they reject Muhammad as a prophet of God. And Jesus. Why they reject Muhammad and Jesus? Because they believe in the case of Jesus, he did not fulfill basically what they expected of a Messiah, i.e., to set him free from the Roman Empire. Yeah, basically to, to from the bondage of anyone that they would generalize. Because I do know some Christians that accept Muhammad and they do just believe. I don't want to be YouTuber. Hell no, bro. No, no, you're not. As long as they believe in God. Yeah. So, so, so basically, what we are saying is that Jesus himself. Yes, like I was asking earlier that person that Jesus never claimed to be God. There's not a single verse where he clearly, yes, show me a verse, show me a verse where he says he's God. You can show us where does he say he's God? No, when you say attribute of God, which, att which attribute are you talking about? He said that he forgives sins as many more. No, did he say forgive sins or did he announce that your sins are forgiven? There's a big difference. No, no, no. He said your sins are forgiven. Yeah, but to who? Someone I you've never met before? You know what? If you take Shahada now, if you both become Muslim now, I can tell you your sins are forgiven. Really? Does that make me God? Press that. Yes. Press that. Because according to Islam, according to Islam, anyone who accepts Islam, yes, their past sins are wiped away as if it's a clean slate, as if you were a newborn baby. Yes? You born again. Like he says in Christianity, you're born again as someone without sins. But in Christianity, you believe in a God who died by his own creation. Does that even make sense to you? God himself. Remember, God is the almighty God. These humans who killed him according to your Bible, yes, this, this God who killed him, who was killed according to your Bible, he created those human beings who put him to death. And what did he cry on the, on the, on the cross? My God, my God. Why have you abandoned me? Yes, can you imagine God being, being abandoned by whom? By another God. Because he didn't say my father, my father. He says, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Do you believe your God got abandoned by his God? Or are you going to say Jesus lied there? Jesus has two natures. Yeah. Did he have both natures when he died? Yes. Yes? Okay. Was that in the one person or was it in two persons? Well, that one person. Okay, so that one person was abandoned, right? Well, the, the man part, yeah. So what do you mean man part? You're separating them two persons now. Did that one person get abandoned? Well, that, yes. I didn't ask you. <laughs> this was before his death. Just before his death. Was that one person abandoned by his God? Well, I would say yes. Okay. Seen, yeah. How many gods are there? There's one God. So which God abandoned whom? It's a part of No, no. You said there's only one God. Which God abandoned whom? Okay, God is a family. Oh, it's a family. <laughs> Oh my God! What's the difference between you and Hindus and Greek gods? Because they believe God was a family. Hercules had a son called Zeus. Sorry, Zeus had a son called Hercules. Yes. Why is that different? That was a family of God. Are you your father? Let's say you're right. Oh my God! Let's say you're right. No, I'm not right. You're the one who made the claim. Let's say Allah. Let's say Allah is, is the truth. It's not Allah. It's Allah. Allah or whatever Good. name you use. You know what Jesus called God? Allah. In in Aramaic, yes. In Aramaic, do you know? Do you read Aramaic? Elohim. No, Elohim is Hebrew. You don't even know the difference between language. Jesus called God Allah. Yes. Yes, he did. You don't know Aramaic. That's why you're saying this. Yes, go and check. And you know who calls Allah? There are 30 million Arab Christians 
who call God Allah. Yeah, that's because of the confusion. Because of confusion? Are you saying 30 million Arabs are confused? Oh my God. Tell me God's name. You know, a person who doesn't know Arabic, a person who doesn't know Aramaic, are telling that they are confused, who speak Arabic, and who speak Aramaic. Look at the arrogance, honestly. Look at the arrogance. What's God's name? He has many names. What is God's name? Yeah. Allah, and he has 99 names. What's the other one? What's the God's name in your Bible? Has he got a Jewish name? A Jewish name? Like what? Uh, he's, he's God of the Jews, you're talking about. No, no, he's a Jewish name. Is a what is a Jewish name? So he yeah, has got a Jewish name. Okay, so you're trying to, you're trying to say Yahweh. He's nowhere close to God. Are you trying to say Yahweh? Yeah. Okay, Yahweh. show me Yahweh in the New Testament, even once. Yes, uh, it says I am. He used the word I am. I am is not Yahweh. I am is Ahyeh. Well, Not I am, say, Yahweh. You can't use the name Jesus. If you use it, it's actually... A... Show me the name of God in the New Testament. Yeah, but you're talking about translation, yeah? No, I'm talking about the name, not translation. Yah, Yahshua. Show me the name. You know what? In the Old Testament, Yahweh appears more than 6,000 times. Yeah. Yes, the word yeah. Yahweh. The wait, wait, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't jump, don't no, jump no, the gun. Jump you know when you're cornered, you, you change the topic. The Okay. He's nowhere in the Quran. So, so why? He's nowhere in the New Testament. You don't believe in the Quran, but you believe in the New Testament. Jesus is from the Old Testament as well. The Word of God. So why did they remove the name of God from the New? It's Yahweh. He's not in the Quran. Why? Look, look. Do you believe in the Quran? No. Do you believe in the Quran? If the word Yahweh was there, would you believe in the Quran? Well, if he was claiming and he would demand the same Jesus was in the Bible, I would say, then the Quran maybe would be right, but there's no way close. Okay. Now let me ask you the same question. Would you believe in the New Testament if the, if the name Yahweh wasn't there? Yeah, I would. I you would? would. Yeah. You would. If you would you believe it if it wasn't there? If someone claimed to have it. No, no, hear me out, hear me. Would you believe in the New Testament if the name of God, Yahweh, was not there? You would say in translation? Okay, what's the, what's the translation of Yahweh? Eh? What's the translation of Yahweh? No, the I am. Use I am as You know Yahweh is a tetragrammaton. Yeah, the word that Jesus wait, wait. uses is you know, the, yeah, I know. the one he uses in the Old But do you know Yahweh is a tetragrammaton? It is Yah. Yeah. Ha waha yeah. or yod ha waha. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, good. So, yeah, ha waha is a tetragrammaton. Yeah. Yes, is there any vowels in there? Any, any vowels? No, there's no vowels. Only consonants. Yeah. Can you pronounce a word without vowels? Yes, if you're Jewish, you know. No, you can't pronounce a word without vowels. No, we that's why you have to put in, to yeah, that's the reason you made it Yahweh by adding vowels in there. Yeah, okay, and that is what is you changing the name of God. Yeah, so you have to change the name of God even to pronounce it. But you see, Alhamdulillah, Allah has given us 99 names in the Quran, in the New Testament, you don't even have one. Your prophet claim to be a prophet, he doesn't even know. Oh, now he's changing to prophet. Now he's comparing my prophet to his God. Because he couldn't answer with Allah. Show me in the Quran when he says Yahweh. He's not even there. That's Who said there was Yahweh? You, you said that he's a prophet. He's not even there. When did I say the word Yahweh was in the Quran? When did I say that? How can it be? Why are you saying that? I didn't say I'm that. I'm saying that because you guys claim that the, uh, Muhammad is a prophet of God and he's claiming that the God is the same as the God of the Bible. That, which is, is he not? It's not. Well, you would know the name of God if your prophet was a prophet. So the name of the word is a Jew. No, no, but I asked you, what is the name of God in the New Testament? And you can't answer that. It's the same as the Old Testament. So it's Yahweh. Yeah, it's so you, you actually find Yahweh in the New Testament? Well, you, you know, find the name of Jesus because Jesus is part of God. Hey, you just said Yahweh. You didn't say Jesus. Okay. Jesus is God saved. Do you agree Yahweh is not in the New Testament? Eh? Be sincere. Do you agree? Yeah. The name Yahweh is not in the New Testament. In translation, not because the Old Testament. No one should. I didn't ask you to translate God's name. Why would you? Yeah, in translation. Wait, wait. Why would you want to try? Is the name Abraham Abraham in the New in the New Testament? Is the name Moses Moses in the New Testament? Yes. Yes. What is it in the Old Testament? It's still Moses, right? Yes. Yes. So why can't Yahweh be the same in the New Testament? Why do you have to translate it? Because the, the New Testament is not about the, not the Father, it's more about Jesus. This is why the, you got the oh, it's nothing to do with the Father at all, the New Testament. Well, it's, the Father is part of God, so obviously he's there. But the New Testament is... But if he's part of God, I would expect at least one time the name of God. Well, in yes? Jesus' name, he's always there. No, but uh, is Jesus the Father? Well, he says the Father now one, I would say. No, no, is he the Father? Is Jesus well, the Father? different person, I would say. Thank but you. One God. Thank you. So they're not the same. Do we agree? They are not in the nature, same. They are. In nature, they are, but not in. A what do you mean in nature? You mean that they, they got two positions. Uh, that's what that's what differentiates them. Okay, one of the natures of Jesus was human. Does the Father have a human nature? No. So they're not same in nature either. Not same in name. Not same in essence. Not same in. No, in, in, in the divinity. No, but you, you, you're playing with it because did, did How am I playing? Because did God did the Father come down in on earth as a man? Did he? 
No, I'm asking you. No, you didn't. You're telling me that it's, it's not You should know your father and son, Holy Ghost, so you should know. Did he come or not? No, but it seems that like you don't know. Okay. You're telling me it's something. How many gods are there again? There's only one god. Okay, who is that? The father or the son? The son, the one god. But they are not each other. The father is not the son. There's two, there's three in, uh, in that god. Oh, three gods? No, there's one god, but there's three, three in it. Okay, let's break this down. Yeah. There are three persons in the Trinity. Yeah, yeah, yes, but you're saying there's only one god. Yeah. Is the father fully god? Yeah. Is the Son fully God? Yeah. Is the Holy Spirit fully God? Yeah. Fully God means 100% God? 100% yeah. God? 100%? Yeah. How many percent you got? 300%. Three. You done maths? No, you done maths? Four. Yeah. How is that not three gods? Well, we should not talk about mad there. You see, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's If you can count at least to three, then you should know this. Talking about your mind. Well, okay, when you, when you, no. If you take a bath. <laughs> if he's fully God, if Jesus is fully God, then he shouldn't die. That's what I told if you Jesus is fully family. God, then he should... What are you telling me? You, you, know, you know, anyone who calls God a family is not a true Christian. Honestly. No Orthodox Christian would say God is a family. No, but you understand. What are you telling me? Is take, you take three apples, you put it in one bag, how many bags have you got? Three bags or one bag? Wait, wait, you, put, you put what? Three balls? Wait, wait, what did you just say? Three balls? Yeah. Yes. Is, is the bag... Wait, wait. Let, you know what? That's a good example. Let, let, let's see if you know logic. Is the bag... Is the bag the ball? No. There you go. Man, what do you say? So how many, how many bags? Well, like, these people don't know logic. You don't know logic. God is, God is family. You need to go and learn logic first. No, no, because you're you're making a one family. Sorry? They're free to make a family. You need that Actually, you know, when you say three family, trust me, when you say as a human being, and I'm glad you said that, actually it makes more sense that they are a family of God. Just like the Hindus believe, just like the pagan God Greeks believe, that they are a family of God. This is called polytheism. This is not called monotheism. What is the first commandment? Let's see if you know that. What's the first commandment? The first commandment. No, that's the second part of the first commandment. Thank you. It's not the first. Here, O Israel, your Lord God is one. Yes? This is called the Shema. It's not called the Shema. It's not called the Shema? I thought you knew Hebrew earlier. That's because you guys copy. You're getting found out on, on every count here. Okay. Here, Israel, your Lord God is one. Does God say he's three in one or does he say he's one? It's one, but you can't. So when does he say three? It's when did he ever say three? You, when you buy a bag, you don't tell anyone what you put in it. This is what it's like. Of course I tell people what I put in it, if they ask me. What kind of a nonsense why, is this? That's why you're asking me, that's why I'm telling this three in a sir. Yeah, but you said three, you said three as a family. Yes, a family. God is a yeah, family. But that's polytheism. To believe in more than one God, is a, okay. You know what I'm There's one God, there's three in the family. Is a family. You, you got wait, a wait, yes, yes, yes. No, yes. No. I wouldn't say my family. family. Wait, so wait. many family you got? There's so many. Da, do you have a family? Yeah. Okay. Your family is one. Yeah. Do you, have you it's ever multiple members? That's fine. Have you played football? Yeah. You played in a team. Yeah. Your team is one or more than one? It's one team. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's called it. Multiple members in it. Exactly. It's the same thing, exactly. So, so it is what it's defines this oneness is the number of people. Yes. But what defines the person? You as a person are one or many? Exactly, you're one. I wouldn't call you a trinity, I would call you one. I wouldn't call you a family, I would call you one person. Problem the word. We call it trinity because they're free. If there were four, we would have a different name. But we call trinity yeah, but, but where did God advocate the trinity in the Bible? Where? Not the word, the concept. He it to put it, but he showed it. Where did he show it? Show me. Show me where God shows the, the three are one. Already two. There were the two. Yeah. No, I asked you three, not two. Show me where the three are one. Well, then after when Jesus says yes to go and to let the Spirit to come, the comforter. And how does that make it? How does that make it one? Because they both they can come, can, cannot be on earth at the same time. But they're too powerful. No, the you see, you're just using your logic here now. No, it's not. And you're not. You're, you're not you, you didn't give me anything from the scripture. To leave to let the Spirit come. Why didn't you say, oh, let's go and let the Spirit work? You did not give me anything from the Scripture. You just gave me your logic. That, okay, now we got two. Now Jesus said the Spirit must come. Automatically, they are three in one. How? Three in one. How? Because the Spirit of God. Why don't you say the Spirit if of God? If they were one, okay, I'll tell you what. If they were one, let me ask you this. The Spirit does of God the, is not God. Does the Holy Spirit... Jesus is not God. Okay. Who is God then? It's not God then. No, no. The only God that is in the Bible is what the Jews believe. Who is the Father? To whom Jesus prayed, putting his head on the floor. Yes? Yeah. When he was fully God as well, remember? Yeah. Not just fully man. Fully man. Yes. Fully man so he was fully God and fully man. Yeah. And this one person, which had two natures, yeah. Jesus God prayed to one God. Yeah. So even Jesus agrees so with me, the, not the you. Man nature prayed to God. Yeah? Jesus agrees with me, not with the you. Man nature prayed to God. Why are you saying only the man? 
Because you separated his natures. Who told you to do that? He does it. That's called a, in the old Bible, he does separate. He and separates what? Two natures? He's speaking. Speak so you're saying God is a light bulb. He switches on divinity, switches off divinity. Switches on divinity, switches off divinity. Yeah, he switched. No, Jesus is God. You know, you say God is the family. So By the way, God will you be one with God one day? Yeah, you will be one. With you God. become God, one with God. Speak. Are you really a polytheist or a Christian? It doesn't sound like a Christian to me. I've not, I've not heard of any Christians who claim that they will become God one day. Or part of, yeah. Yes, according to him. What's the difference? Was Jesus a part of God? So what's the difference between you and Jesus then? You become part of God, Jesus becomes a part of God. The difference is Jesus was always there and the Father was always there, the Spirit was always there. So to be fully God, you need to be always there, never, no beginning, no end. But when you join, be part of God, because I had the beginning, I won't have an end, then I can't be God. But I have part of God, meaning that we become one with God. Okay. This is what so you're saying somebody who, somebody who was there from the beginning is automatically God? If he created them from yeah. Let, let me ask you, yeah. have, you, have, you uh, have you heard of Melchizedek? Huh? Have you heard of Melchizedek? No father, no mother. Yeah. Very good. No but Adam. Is he is he God? It's actually the Christopher Lee of Jesus Hebrews chapter Hebrews chapter seven verse three. Check it out. He has no beginning, no end. Yeah. Yes? No genealogy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know no, I'm coming to that. No genealogy. Yeah. No father, no mother. Yeah. Yes? He was in the likeness of the Son of God. Yep. That's a very important statement. Yep. So if, you're if you were going to say he was Jesus, yep. then you're wrong because he says in the likeness of the Son of God. Yeah, but the Son of wait, God wait, wait. Darius. I haven't yep. finished yet. So I haven't finished. If I say you are in the likeness of your father, are you your father? No. But what are you talking you about? The was Jesus alive at the time then? Jesus? The Son of God is Jesus. Isn't, isn't God alive all the time? What kind no, of a question no, is that? The God nature. We're talking about the Jesus nature. <laughs> yeah, but you said this nature. Yeah, but uh, this nature. About the God nature. We're talking about the man nature. Which Jesus has to so why are you asking about the man nature when yeah, I say? If you want, if you want to speak that way, you need to bo put both at the same. No, I'm talking stand. about eternity. Because if you speak the way you speak, nobody will understand. We are talking. You. You don't even we are talking about yourself. eternity. Yeah, we are talking about eternity. Yeah. Are you trying to say Melchizedek was Jesus? Yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah. Did, wait, wait. Melchizedek. The word of God at the time. Wait, wait. wasn't there yet. So when he says you, you in the light, why? Right? So okay, okay. To use the word of God. Yes. That's fine. So Melchizedek was he human or was he? No, it was in form of God still. And he had that because of. Uh, no, no. When, yeah. when, when this statement is made, no father, no mother, yeah. no genealogy. By the way, how many genealogies does Jesus have? Two. Genealogy, like your father, who is your father, who is your grandfather, who is your great grandfather, that's a genealogy. He has two genealogies. Yes. At least in the Bible, at least two. Okay? Melchizedek has zero. Okay? Melchizedek had no mother, no father. Did Jesus have a mother? No. Who was married then? Of course, biological mother. How else can you become a mother? You need to come as human, so you needed a mother. So why are you saying no, he didn't have a mother? No, because you're talking, I'm talking about mother as a physical mother when you, no, like you, like you, uh, you and me, you all have a mother, it's different. But Jesus didn't have, had only a biological mother. That's what I'm talking about, a mother. How else can you become a mother other than biological? Because you're not specifying, so every time I say something, you turn the, uh, the word in the other section. Are you going to redefine the word mother? What is a mother? Define mother, let's see. Oh, someone you born for. Someone you give, someone who yeah. gives birth. Yeah, yes? Did Mary give birth to Jesus? Yes. Did Mary give birth to Jesus? Oh, yeah. You have to I think about say, that seriously? Yeah. Honestly? Mary, yeah, gave birth to Jesus. Does that make her his mother? Uh, I wouldn't... Honestly, you have to no, think about it. She called mother, I would say, yeah. Which other mother do you know? No, because the, the father is the, the spirit. Ah, spiritual father. So the God, the father. Good. Because the Holy spirit. Do you have a spiritual father? No, no, not spiritual father. I said the spirit, the, the spirit of God is his father. He's the one who put the seed. Okay, is that father the only father? Is, is he only Jesus' father? Nobody else's? That, whatever father you want to define it as yeah. spiritual, God, as yeah. um, uh, basically a... So it's God, yeah. God. Not a literal father, as being metaphoric father. No, it's a... It's is that father, yeah. with Jesus, is, you're saying Jesus is yeah. father, 
Is that father shared by anyone else? Only which is, only Jesus has monopoly over that father. Well, the true father, I would say. What do you mean true? How many fathers have he has he got? No, because you, because oh, the true father. Yeah, because you're talking about. That's what why the, playing, the why playing games the, with words? The father is my father as well. Because he's we're crazy. talking about Jesus as father. So that's why uh, when you use word, it's difficult because you have to put down exactly what you want to say. Because what you do is you talk about the word that's too. Okay, God the Father. Is that better for you? Yeah. God the Father. Yeah, God the He's God the Father, only the Father of Jesus Christ. Uh, at the moment, no, it depends what sense. Is a Father of creation, I would say. What other sense can it be? You know, tell me, what other sense can it be? There is a Father that you If I told you specifically, God the, the Father. No, no, I said God the Father. The father wait, wait, I made it very clear. Yeah. God the Father, yeah. can he be in any other sense? A Father? I would say, yeah. Biological Father? Can he be a biological Father? I would say biological. I would say in a way. He was a biological father of Jesus. I would say in a way, not. Uh, what do you mean in a way? Do you know what a biological father is? Yeah. Who has sex yeah, with a, that's what, that's what with his mean, wife that's what to I have a child? In a way, because God didn't have sex okay. there. And, and by the way, you know, by artificial insemination, you don't need to have sex. You can inject the sperm in the egg. And you can still the the woman can still have a. You don't need to inject. Doesn't matter. Whatever technology they use, we are not concerned about that. What I'm asking you, what makes him the biological father? If it wasn't the sperm, if it wasn't having sex, what makes him a biological father? Then? Also, that was a sperm which passed on. Seriously, man, these guys are so lost. This is called no. Alhamdulillah, we are Muslims and we don't have to go through this. You took it as a human thinking. That's what. How else can you talk? If not human. What well, a spiritual thing though. The way that the Are you talking as a human or spirit now? Because <laughs> you you're making a lot of blunders. It's not a lot of blunders. You, you see the Bible. The you're saying God is the biological father of Jesus. Honestly, do you, you listen way, to yourself? Because the seed, the early spirit of the seed. Okay. When you say the seed, does it mean the sperm? Are you saying God? Because God okay, so what is the seed then? The seed you mean that is what the DNA that Oh the DNA. Yeah, the DNA? Are you sure God has a DNA? Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> I think he's missing more than just water. I finished my water actually. Yeah, no, because it's fire. That's fine. No, honestly, you know, you shouldn't. You know what you're doing? You're blaspheming against God. I'm blaspheming. You are. You're saying he has a DNA. Yes, when you don't even know the truth about God. How can you know God unless he tells you something about him? Are you are you trying to claim more knowledge than even Jesus? Even Jesus didn't know he had a DNA. Others he would have told us. Yes? Of course, the Jesus DNA, has a DNA. DNA speaking, it's not the DNA as a you. So what makes him biological? That's the question. Because you claim God the Father is a biological uh, father. In a way. the seed of Whatever. God, the spirit. Yeah, but what is the seed? What Tell me the seed. seed. That's what, what is the seed? I can't define the seed because God, Because you define DNA of God. God Why can't you define seed of God? Seed God put, but he says he put the seed. And we, we meaning that the Father is God the Father. So the Why, father can, Jesus why can't he just God. keep it simple? Yes, the Muslims believe the Muslims believe that Jesus was born miraculously. Yes, by the command of Allah. Allah says when he wants something to be, he says kun fayakun means be and it becomes or it is. Yes, and this is what the simplicity of Islam is. We don't have to go and blaspheme God like the guy said. He's a biological father. That is seed and his DNA and his sperm, my God. He went all over the place without knowing God. You use that term at one point, I'm pretty sure. For man, for man sperm, but God split the seed, that's what Okay, so it's not sperm. Why did you say he had a DNA then? Yeah, because it's a kind of DNA using it. How do you know he has a DNA? How do you know he has a DNA? You bring word. I'm, I'm not, I'm asking you. You're talking as a human. Hold on, hold on. So it's the same I, thing as Actually, it was, hold on. It was yeah. you who brought up the word DNA, did you know? Yeah, I brought up the so word So don't, DNA. don't try to say, I, I am playing with words. No, no, but you brought the word in. To make you understand, but it seems like the more word I bring, the more confused you get. This no, I'm telling you, do not speculate about God. If you don't know, just say, I'm I don't know. You are. You are. Speculating. You, are speculating. You, know, you read the Bible. When you said DNA, you told, take, show me DNA told, in the Bible. You, told, you told, show me DNA in the Bible. You said it's written in there. It's seed in the Bible. But you said DNA. As well. I said DNA because I'm using it as a man speaking words. Because this is when you when you know, every word you speak you say, is no, as a man. You see, you see, you see. Is it not? So every you word he speaks is as a man. You, you don't actually uh, explain. It's written in the Bible that the Father he said the Holy okay, Spirit anyway. the Once again, I ask you the question. Put the seed in any in, in anyone and in any woman, you become the Father. If you're gonna you wife, become you, you become, become the Father because you put your seed in the woman. That's how you become your son. So this is the same principle that God did. Okay. And he showed. He didn't put sperm. Well, you show the same principle. First, you have to define what the word seed means. What? Seed. 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 
I see there's many, many meaning in it. Uh, it's something that grows and makes something this, this design. Okay. He has the same. So, so basically, you're telling uh, so he me. He has the same nature of the, the one that gives. It. So okay. that's why you, you know it's your son because the DNA is similar to you. That's why. And that's why you become. Did God, yeah. did God make Mary pregnant? Yes, he did. Yes. Yeah. Which God? What do you mean which God? It's one God. Are you sure? So which part of God I would say? The I didn't ask you which part, I asked you which God. There's only one God, so yeah. yeah. Does that include Jesus? Well, so yeah, Jesus, uh, Jesus, the Holy Spirit and the Father is one. Yes. So, so Jesus made his own mother pregnant? See, he's playing with words. Well, you said one God. No, 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 but you're playing with the swat. I'm not playing with words, I'm asking you. No, but I'm telling you this part. Why are you, why are you upset all of a sudden? No, I'm not asking you what part. So why are you upset? Word, why are you upset? That's why we're going. No, I'm not upset. It's just, I'm trying to... Did you not say sense. God made Mary pregnant? You're circle playing with words. I'm you're not playing with words. It doesn't make any sense. I can't do it. You seem to be very upset all, all of a sudden. Well. You seem to be going there. Oh, my God, it's Jesus. How can Jesus come down? And I explain you, Jesus got two natures. One man nature, one God nature. When one dies, is the man, the man nature that died. But then you go... Okay, so which nature made him... That's fine, that's fine. That's fine, okay. Okay. So which nature, which nature of Jesus made Mary pregnant? It's not Jesus that made Mary pregnant. I told you what part of God is it? It's the Holy Spirit that put the seed. You know, so obviously it's the Holy Spirit. So, it's still so why don't you call the Holy Spirit the Father? Because according to your because statement, wait, 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 you said whoever makes the woman pregnant is the Father. Now yeah. you're saying the Holy Spirit made her pregnant. Yeah. Why don't you call the Holy Spirit Father? Is the Father is the, the other part. It's the Holy Spirit is the Spirit. That's why. That's why you're confused. It's like if look at him, you're faltering. No, it's like if I call, uh, you've got four people in your family. I call them for a family name. Which one we do know we, who I'm call, talking? A family name? Does yeah. God have a family name? No, no, no I'm, I'm talking to you. The who same bringing family name in? It's a bad example. It's a very bad example. You see, it's okay, so. So if basically, I say something, you got something completely different. No, no, you said, you, you said, family, and it's on camera. Show an example. You said whoever makes a woman pregnant yeah. is the father. That's correct. Who made her pregnant? The Holy Spirit. Whom are you calling it's father? father. Yeah. Whom are you calling father? The Not father. The Holy Spirit. Not the Holy Spirit, right? No, because the Holy Spirit is a part of the, the Godhead. Exactly. But it's, this is why they've got three different roles. Is the Holy Spirit the father? God, three, three different That's roles. fine. Is the Holy Spirit the father? I would say. No, they're cool in power, I would say. Okay, so if the Holy Spirit is not Father, yeah. yes, but the Holy Spirit is the one who made her pregnant, yeah. why are you calling someone as the Father then? No, because God, you see, he's dividing God again. God, the Spirit talk, talk to of Godhead, me. so it's yeah. actually yeah. God. Yeah. That's, why, that's why you do that, that's why I would speak. And you see, that is the reason. You would understand that, unless you understand there's three people in the, in the Godhead. It's not in the Bible. Then, uh, it How can is. I understand? It's not in the Bible. Even you can't show me that. Do you know even no. Jesus claimed to be God? Sorry, Jesus claimed to be God? His enemies, Where? His enemies even says... Uh, Where did Jesus claim to be God? So when they say, you need a man who claimed to be God. What the, Where did Jesus claim to be God? That? Because if Jesus is a prophet, he would have objected that. No, 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 I'm not God. No, you couldn't. Where did he claim to be God? Show me the words. He says that. Show me. Show me the words where Jesus claimed to be God. Because Je Jesus, saying that Jesus says the opposite. So Jesus, Jesus says, I go to my God and your God. Jesus yeah. claims that he has a God, not that he is God. So any Christian who shows me, oh, let's see, that'll be a, that'll be a first. Of course, not all of it, not all of it. No, no. The parts that basically go against the Quran is corrupt. Yeah, the his enemy is saying that you claim to be God. The Quran and the Hadith. Jesus never claimed to be God. But if the enemy is... Okay, let him show, let him show. Just show me where he says, where he claims unambiguously, clear cut, that is God. He's God, yeah. It's not Jesus saying it. He's saying it's Why? God. Why not? <laughs> because Je Jesus actually gives the illusion that oh, he is God, I'm God. He gives the illusion? Yeah, not no, the no. illusion. That he's, he he gives a hint, telling yeah, them that he is God. Why does he have to give a hint? Is he scared to say he's God? He says God is humble. You know, God the Father in the Old Testament says many times he's God. Why is Jesus scared? Because Jesus had a mission that's so different. But Jesus didn't need On the mission to do what? To save the world, that's why. By? Dying. Yeah. The fact that he can die, he's, a, he's not a god. No, he's, he's a mortal. He died for our sin. I didn't ask you why he died. I asked you the fact that he dies yeah, but by his own creation shows that he's not he's a god. He's not just dying for the sake of anything. No, but I didn't ask, look, regardless of why he died, the very fact he that. He chose to die, you know that. You don't just also, die. he committed suicide. No, he when he chooses to die, you commit suicide. This is what you call love. You know what he says? No, you know, you know what he says? No, you're talking about that. In the Bible, he says that the greatest love is, is, your word, is your friend dying for you. That's the greatest love in the Bible. Yeah, but we're not talking about his love. Of course, he loved no, people. There's Jesus speaking there. But do you see, actually, does God Jesus, die? Everything you teach, you actually practice. Does God die? Huh? Does God die? 
What pot? Why, why are you always dividing him in parts? No, because you know, I'm the one keeping God as one. This guy no, divides him no, in parts. I asked you, who made God pregnant? So you made who made Mary pregnant? Which right. part? Which part? Who died? Which part? You see, they keep dividing God into parts. Yeah, because God has parts. <laughs> Where does God say He has parts? Show me. You see, you're, you see, you're making claim about God no, that He has DNA, anything. that He has parts, and you cannot show from the Bible. I told you, Jesus says that no, you claim to be God, and they, His oh, enemies, so His enemies, His enemies so are saying so that so you're so struggling with the basics. I asked no, you, where did Jesus so claim so to be he God? He said, can't. Backtracks. Yeah. No, he's he's going to show us. Enemies. You're right. Yeah. No, no. First, He says so Jesus claims, Jesus and then when He realized that He's not there, He says He doesn't say it. So you believe in Jesus, I would rather take the words of Jesus over other people. Would I not? If I was a Christian. You won't find it. He's going to Google. That's fine. Let him Google. No problem. Shake Google will show him. So which bit is corrupt? The Bible. Which bit is corrupt? Which bit? The bit where the bit where what book, what book is corrupt? What book? All of them. All of them. All of them. Yes. All of them. All but there is remnants of truth in there. For example, when in Deuteronomy 6:4, yes, it says there is only one God. Yes, that's a fact. When Jesus was asked about what is the most important uh, commandment, he says the same thing. There is one God. Yes, Jesus never says there is more than one God. This is what the Christian says. You know, after. The Four Trinity, things. the Trinity doctrine was actually established in the 4th century. If you look at the early Christians, like for example from the 1st century and the 2nd century, even the early church fathers don't claim that Jesus is, uh, sorry, that God is a Trinity. This was a later development. The early Christians, his disciples, they were all Unitarians. Yes? Yes? Nowhere in the Bible you'll find even the disciples saying there's three in one. Nowhere you'll find even Paul. Paul says in Colossians 2.9, yes, that God the only true God, Father, the only true God. Very clear. Jesus in 17.3, John 17.3, very clearly again says, yes, he talks about God the Father and he says the only true God. This is the Bible, man. I'm telling them, look at the explicit verses. They go for verses which are not clear. Yes? Is Muhammad in the Bible? Muhammad is in the Bible as a reference. Like in the Old Testament, it talks about in Isaiah 42. The very beginning. He says about the people of Kedar, the dwellings of Kedar, and the people of Selah will joyce, rejoice from the mountain tops. The people of Kedar are who? Who's Kedar? Kedar is a son of Ishmael. Yes? And the dwelling of Kedar is Arabia, Saudi Arabia today. And that's in the Bible as well. They actually give the location and what it means. So the Kedar. Muhammad, I don't know if you know, basically traces his genealogy to Ishmael. Yes? And he is basically from the progeny, from the descendants of Ishmael. So we have Abraham, who is called the father of the prophets. Yes? And we have two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Isaac and the prophets who came from him, like Moses, Aaron, so on. Yes? Including Jesus. All these prophets, basically they are from the Bani Israel. All the prophets who came from the line of Ismail, like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is basically. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just helping the brother out. Are you listening? Yes. So you see, the descendant of Ishmael and the dwelling of Kedar, which is mentioned in Isaiah 42, is talking about Muhammad. Yes, yes. Because who rejoiced when some prophet or messenger came to Medina, where Selah is basically? Go and Google the word Selah and mountain. Yes, Salah mountain is actually in Medina. It is literally next to the Prophet's mosque, like 200 years from there. The word Salah is mentioned in that verse. The words, the words Kedar is mentioned in that. Did Jesus ever go to Saudi Arabia? So whose prophet is this? Any other prophet went to Saudi Arabia where the people rejoiced? No, the only one who satisfies this prophecy in Isaiah is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It even says that he'll come with a new song, meaning a new Sharia. Yes? Hold on. Allah write the Old Testament? Allah, Allah didn't write even the Quran. Allah revealed the Quran and the, and the original Torah and the original Injil and the original Zabur. This is called the Bible today. Which is basically uh, changed from the originals. Because Allah did not give any guarantee of preservation in that book. He's found it. He's found it. Is he? Okay. Wait, wait, one second. Let me answer this question quickly. So Allah 
basically when you say allow yes he did not guarantee preservation of the previous revelation the revelations confusion now hear me out hear me out the revelations before the quran yes allah did not say or god did not say anywhere in the bible you won't find a verse where god says i guarantee preservation of my book or my words or anything like that but in the quran yes there's a very clear verse in the quran where allah says he will preserve yes the book that is revealed the dhikr inna nahnu nazzalna dhikr wa inna lahu lahafidun yes it is indeed we who has revealed we have revealed the quran and indeed we will safeguard it against corruption in the brackets yeah and this is what i'm saying this is a guarantee given only in the quran now your question as to why god allowed the corruption yes you see when jesus was asked about the most important commandment yes he says here or israel your lord god is one yes no don't go he's going to go he's going to go this woman he's going to what you actually found a verse where yeah, jesus yeah, said, claims yeah. to be god we we don't know what his enemies oh, wait, wait. so after all this time it was a waste okay, of time no, let me explain you again, no 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 wait no, let me explain if you're not going to give jesus answer says, i'm the way the truth and the life of course he is yeah. he's so not he's meaning not, that you cannot no, lie no, jesus can not no no i'm not saying he lied when did i say he lied you will object to lie yeah when did i say he lied no, 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 I'm just, I'm just telling you, when, I, when somebody says I'm the way, the truth and the light, yes. you mean that I'm the way, the truth, you mean that... Did he say he was the way? No. Or yeah, did he say he's a destination? No, he said the way, the truth. Thank you. He's a way, not the destination. No, no, no. He says I'm the truth. The destination is no. God. Remember. He says I'm the truth. So meaning, if of course, it's the truth. He spoke no, the no, truth. No, no, let me speak. And that's the reason you'll never no, find no, in the Bible speak. the words, no, no, "I am God let, from let Jesus." Me if Jesus stayed that, stayed that, you mean that if you tell a lie, you will rectify you straight away. Who will rectify? If you say a lie to Jesus, you will but when did straight away. when did Jesus lie? No, no, no. I'm not telling. I'm telling you. If you go to Jesus and you oh, if you tell a lie to Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So who who told a lie to Jesus? No. As an example, if you don't like why Jesus, bringing this up Jesus when nobody makes the claim. Listen, if, if no one made a claim that somebody no, lied no, to Jesus, agree, then why bringing it up? Do you agree me? If you claim to be the truth and you, somebody tell you a lie, if you say the truth, you must rectify yeah, the person. Yes, he did. But so, did you know where he rectified? When so Jesus, no, no, wait, I'll tell you where he rectified. Yep. Jesus, when the, Pharise, yep. when the Pharisees or the Jewish yep. people, they came and said, yep. when Jesus said these words, I and my father are one. Yes. Yeah. What, and does what does that mean? I'm coming to that. When Jesus says, I am the Father and one, this is John 10, uh, John 10, 30. Yes. Yeah. The Jewish people, you know what they did? They picked up stones to throw at him. Yeah. Yeah. And he, bro, I'm coming, have patience. Okay. <laughs> um, that's the point I'm trying to make. Okay. Yes. Jesus told them, or he asked them, for what good works that I've done, I'm paraphrasing here, for what good works that I've done, that you're stoning me. Yeah. And they, in response, the Jewish no, people, the Jews say, that for blasphemy yes you being a mere man are claiming to be god so just like you christians those jews also understood that he's claiming to be god now listen to jesus's response it's not correct that's the reason he corrects them jesus says that they the jewish people are called gods yes and all i say is i am god's son i'm paraphrasing so he's referring to psalms 82 6 where the jewish people are called by god almighty that he are gods, the sons of the Most High. This is in Psalms 82, verse 6. Wait, wait, wait. This is Jesus telling them that all I am saying is I am God's son. He makes that statement. Yes, I paraphrase it, but he makes a statement. Right? He did not, he did not say I am God at that end. Because you see, that was a perfect opportunity for him to say I'm God. Because that is the claim they were making. But he defends against that false allegation and that blasphemy, which the Jews actually addressed towards him, and which you guys are doing today, that he's claiming to be God. He never claimed so to be God. As a Christian, what am I going to do? If you're a Christian and you do not believe in Allah as one God, your associate partners with him. I don't yes. Well. By the way, I'm not going to make the judgment for you, but we don't know what state you're going to die or what state I'm going to die. You know, there are many born again Christians you know, here. You know, you, know the, oh, you know, you know what state you're going to die? I'm going to speak on. You know, there were many born again Christians guy, like this guy who was certain of their salvation. Those Christians, some of them, are today Muslims and they're preaching the Quran and they're preaching the Quran all right and this is guys like him who are very certain of their salvation they don't know what state they're going to die in how did they become Muslim by listening to the truth by using their intellect and by by being sincere 
research. And by being sincere, that's the most important part. Because even if you do research and you're sincere with your heart, that you, when you realize in the Bible that God says that he's immortal and guys like him claim he died on the cross, yes? Why should I go according to the words that he's saying rather than the words of God? What do you want me to say? Uh, we've been trying to explain it today. And I've explained the hypostatic union to you <laughs> already. Yeah, but no, but he, even... No, you, see, you couldn't find it though. So you couldn't find why Jesus claims to be God? You said his enemies. Says that, that's where? You, the two most said important said things in the Bible, yeah. that Jesus is God and, God and the Trinity, you can't find that in the Bible. He said, nah, his enemies. If I do not, that's why the work of my father, believe me not. It's not actually objecting. So that say again? He said, if I do not, the work of my father, believe me not. So he's not actually objecting. He's actually yeah, why why you, you know what? If you don't believe there's me nothing not, to object in that. Yeah. But there's nothing to object. No, no, but that's what he said just before. I tell you what, when he says, I, I do only the works of my father, which means he's a servant of the master. As the master commands him, he does. He's actually putting something and saying he's no, no, the, the only The son. master, the father, commands him what to do and, and what to say. Even the yeah. words he speaks are not his yeah, own. The the work of he commands him what to say, yeah. when to say. Yeah. Can anyone command God? Well, so is he man or God? Is he only man or Exactly, is he man or God? You tell me. <laughs> so, yeah, to a man so if he's both, if he's both, is he one person? Was this person commanded by God? Yeah. There you go. He's not God. Because well, God, God cannot command. God cannot does not take commands from anyone. I Maybe mean, your God does, not mine at least. Bible, bro. Even though you just looked up, Jesus yeah. doesn't say he's God. He's not saying that. Why does he say not object it? Yeah, but no, he didn't. Why does he not? Why, he 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 why can't he clearly say that he's God? The, the, the one you just used, the Father and I are one. Yeah. Exactly in the Greek he actually confirmed that he's claiming that by nature and essence that he's So you so read John 10 34 for us. Go on. Let's see if you can do that. Let's see if he says he's God or is God's son. Is he not written in your law that I said you are God's God's himself? Carry on. Yes, you are God's. The Jews are God's, yeah. not himself. Don't worry, so, carry on. So you of him who the Father has sanctified and sent him into the world, you blaspheme because I said that I'm the Son of God. I said what? You blaspheme because I'm the Son of God. Son of God. Yeah. What is? What did it, Jesus say? He's Son of God He's or God? Son of God. Yeah. Thank you. That's what I was saying all this time. Yeah, but, no, son, of God. son of God is a righteous man in the Hebrew language. Okay. For example, he says, the the peacemakers will be called the children of God. Adam is called the son of God. Abraham is called the son of God. David is called the son of God. We got, we got sons by the tongues in the Bible. The Hebrew people, when they read in their language, they understand what son of God means. It means a righteous person. A person who is righteous and who obeys God is a righteous person. Yes? And that's the reason where he says, ye are gods. You see, God is calling those Jewish people gods. Yes? That means in the Bible, in the Hebrew language, we also have... We also have, well, Adam is called the God. No, but so that's the wrong. Jesus, the God saves is the God you're talking about. Adam is called the God in the genealogy. The God with us is not. Did you hear what I said? Adam is called the God in the genealogy of Jesus, in Luke and in Matthew as well. The God. Yes, the God. I have to educate these guys, man, honestly, about their own Bible. Let yes. me tell you something to make it for them very simple. Yeah. We know as God is Almighty, right? Yeah. He's been, is, and will be, right? Yeah. If somebody logically has a son, that means there's a the limit to their life, right? Yeah. Your son will inherit you. Yeah. That means that your God is not but they, Almighty. But they don't believe that way. Yeah. They believe they both are the same. You, know? you need to understand their theology. I, I know, but if uh, it's, it's the same... It's not a biological son. Habibi, it's not a biological son. <laughs> you need to understand the theology. All right. He's trying to say that if God is God Almighty, actually, he brings a good point. He, he brings a good point actually from the Islamic theology because we have something called Surah Al Ikhlas, where Allah says, Allah Samad, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakul Lahu Kufu Wanahad. Okay, I'll, I'll explain what is it. When Allah says, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, yes, means He neither begets nor is He begotten. That means he himself, he himself doesn't have children, and no one, he is a child of no one. No, no, God is explaining who he is. No, no, this is actually the, the strength of God, not the limit of God. The limit of God is like these guys believe that God died by his own creation. And he's a man. That is called the weakness of God. That is called suicide, even worse. <laughs> when you choose to die, it's called suicide. What is it called? No, it's not suicide, it's sacrifice. Really? How can you choose to sacrifice? Yes? How can you choose to sacrifice when you know you'll come back alive in three days? How can it be called choose sacrifice? How can it be called he sacrifice? Because it's God. That's why you came back alive. No. Do you know what sacrifice means? Yeah. What does it mean? All you are, all you have. For how long? 
Forever. Forever? Yes? Do you agree? Do you agree? Forever? Yes. So give up your life, like for example, when a soldier... To be God, fully, fully God only, when he became God and man. That's what he gave. So he became... But that's an oxymoron Jesus to say God and man. No. I just proved it to you. Then how can God change his nature? Can God Islam change his nature? Because God can't do much. But he needs Actually, look, God in Islam, in Islam is very clear. God does not do anything that goes against his nature. Very simple. Like for example, God is all powerful. He cannot become weak. Like in Christianity and die by his own creation. So no, it's called, it's called the strength. It's called the strength. Like if I if I ask Okay, like if I ask you, you you are an intelligent man. Yes? Can you become ignorant? Completely ignorant. Can you become? Yes. How? If I chose to. Oh, can you choose to completely wipe away your memory? What, what are you going to knock your head on the wall many times? Until you lose your brains? But then you'll be a dead. You won't be an ignorant man, you'll be a dead man. <laughs> no, no, you did not understand the question. You did not understand the question. If God, listen to this. If God says he is all knowing. No, I'm not. God says what he will do, not us. Look, God in the Bible. Wait, wait. God in the Bible. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. God in the Bible and in the Quran, he says that. Wait a minute. Okay. God in the Bible and in the Quran, he says he is immortal. Yes, God in the Quran and in the Bible says that he is all-knowing. Yes, now are you going to believe God or are you going to believe this geezer here who says he died by his own creation? We're talking about God nature, we're talking about both at the same time. Is it one person or two persons? It's one person. Is that one person die? He's got two nature. nature. Did that one person die? You see, you see, he doesn't answer the question. Please, Which knows? We tell him this to nature. You, you, Actually, you're the one playing with words by saying nature. Take this to nature. This this to nature. Actually, I'm keeping the natures in one, one person. No, Jesus is one person. But he's got two natures. That's the difference. Did I deny that? Yeah, you denied. Because How? When you speak, you use only God's nature. So you go, he's, okay. he's God dead. You know, God you know, all this time, you actually he's on the camera. Jesus all this time, I was saying that Jesus, that Jesus has two natures. I even use the hypostatic union. These two natures are in one person. Why don't want you? Why you don't want me to talk? We've been trying to explain. Why you don't want me to talk now? Calm down. I'll let you talk. The two natures are in one person. Did I disagree as two natures? You can't choose Jesus. Did I disagree? So you keep the two natures there. That's what I'm doing. No, you're not because when you say, "Oh, did, can did God die? Can God die?" And then you say, "So did Jesus die?" Okay. Who's separating you or me? Who's separating you or me? You're saying, wait, wait. When you say the human nature died and the divine didn't, who separated you or me? But separated because you don't understand. Are you allowed to separate? Well, for you, you have to separate. Are you allowed to separate? Not me. Are you allowed to separate? You use Jesus as God, so God cannot die. So you know what? You're, if, you, if you're going to separate the two persons, okay. You, can't you know what? If Jesus takes a human form, then the human form can die. So Jesus can die and Jesus can be eternal at the same time because he's got two nature. So the God nature is eternal. Jesus nature, because he took a human kind, human form, that one can die. This is what we're trying to explain. So when Jesus was at the cross, Jesus can die and Jesus can be eternal at the same time. Okay, this shall, shall I tell you why you're wrong? Shall I show you why you're wrong? Okay. Cal calm down. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. Now it's become emotional. You turn the other side and then you turn the other side and then you go on the other side you come back. What do you want to do? We're doing it. We're going to I know. You need to understand. I don't have the Holy Ghost. Okay, listen. Shall I tell you why you're wrong? Shall I tell you? Look, I'll let you talk. Now calm down. Calm down and listen now. It's lost in now. Jesus has two natures. You're repeating yourself now. You're repeating yourself. Calm down. Let's let's use re let's use reason and not emotions. Shall we do that? Okay. Shall I look? I let you talk. I let you talk. I let you talk. I give you your time. Now calm down. Yeah, but why are you asking those questions? We answer the Take questions. a deep breath and calm down. <laughs> you're going to ask well, me again, right, can God die? If you don't want to talk to me, you're more than welcome to walk away. You're more than welcome to walk away if you don't like talking to me. Okay, listen to this. Shall I tell you why it's wrong? Now, you don't interrupt me because I didn't interrupt you during a long rant. Here's the thing. Does nature, does nature exist without... He's doing it again. Very clear, I explain. You can't, but you can't have it clearer okay. than If it is clear, then answer this question. Does sure? the nature, listen, listen. Does the nature exist without the person? What do you mean without the person? I thought it was clear. 
Spirit, you want me to make it more clear? Okay, I'll make it more clear. Jesus has two natures. The, yeah. father, the divine and human. Okay? Can these two natures exist without a person? Jesus is a person. You use as a person. Thank you very much. So Jesus is how many persons? One person. One person. How many natures? Two. Two natures. Okay, we agree so far? Yeah. Good. When I say agree, I mean I understand you, you understand me. <laughs> Alright? Now this one person with two natures, did he die? See, you put it back together. I would say the man nature. You're separating it now. You're separating it. Yeah, I'm separating. The nature, it's like you nature. agree, the nature cannot exist without the person. Why would you yeah, separate you the two natures? Nature you can't add one nature with God. Actually, I didn't take out any natures. I kept them as one. Like, listen, listen. Jesus is I kept the two Jesus natures in one person. I didn't take God it out. out Jesus, because it's God Himself. That's what I'm telling you. You added one nature. Actually, I didn't. You guys did. You added the nature human in God. I'm not necessarily even God. Jesus is still God. But, you, but because Jesus is God, you can't take out the good nature of Jesus because he was since the beginning. You're doing so it again. You other nature to Jesus. You're divorcing the nature from the person. You can't do that. You know when you die, listen to this. Do, do you have, how many natures have you got? One. One human nature. How many wills have you got? How many? Will, wills. You know, your, your ability to think. One. One nature. One will. How many wills did Jesus have? You're not sure? He doesn't say the Bible, so that's why I would say. Hey, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm surprised. Say probably one. He doesn't say no, Bible. don't say probably. Try to think about it. Because you see, you see, the will goes with the person. Listen, listen, listen. One person will have one will. Do you agree? Yes. But we're uh, talking about God at the same time. Then. That's why the. Uh, yeah, but even God. Look, look. Do you think God is more than one? Yeah. Or is he? Is he? Yeah, God is more than one. Yeah. So you are a polytheist. No. There's one God, but there's more than one person in the, that God. I didn't ask you more than one person. I asked you how many gods are there. One person? Only one God. Okay. So God is one. Yeah, yes, God, God is one. How many wills does that God have? Three. I would say one. Don't help him. Don't contradict each other. They're, they're perfect. So I would say oh. just one. Just one? Yeah. And whose will is that? Because you have three persons, remember? But they're, they're perfect. They're according, they're according to each other. They don't contradict each other. So. Do they share the will? Yeah. Do they share the will? I would say so. I don't know that. I would say so. I mean, that's why the question we ask me, the detail that has no relevance. Let, that's what let me just. God didn't. Okay. Put let, down let, about let, let, okay. So let's, let's summarize that. Yeah. God is one. Yeah. But he's three persons. Yeah. But these three persons have share only one will. Probably. Above. Don't say probably. If you don't know, just say I don't know. That's what I told you. I don't know this. No, no, no. You didn't say I don't know. No, if you I did that, you. then I would I have. I would have respected you. But right now, you are yeah. speculating. No, no, I'm not saying you're getting this. Okay, so I once again I'm asking a question. Yeah. This time do not speculate. If you don't know, say yeah. I don't know. God is one. Yeah. He's three persons according to Christians. Yeah, three persons. Within this Godhead, yeah. how many wills are there? I don't know. Bible, so I would say probably one. Don't say, don't speculate, remember. I'm not speculating. I told probably. One probably one, speculating. One. Probably means speculating. Okay, so I'll say I don't know. Speak say speak I don't know. Speak. Don't be arrogant. Because okay, I, I say many times I don't know if I don't know. Yeah. Don't be okay, arrogant. Don't no one is going to judge you, but if you are no, going to blaspheme against saying, God, you'll be judged. I tell you, I don't know. Thank so you. I Thank you. Look. You How many wills did Jesus have? I don't know. It's not in the Bible. It doesn't say in the Bible. It does. It does, actually. Shall uh, I tell you where? Of God he has. But that's the same one. Uh, is that what Shall I tell you where? Okay. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus put his head on the floor, and he when prayed he to prayed, God. Yeah. What did he say? My will or your will? No, before that, what did he say? Let, let, let the cup pass. Yeah, the cup. Good. Let the cup pass from me. Yeah. Yes, not by my will. Not by my will. Yeah. But by your will. Yeah. How many wills? How many, how many wills? Yes, then it's two, yeah, because it's a human nature is the talking. So that's why that you get the That's the reason I asked you how many wills Jesus had. Yeah, but that's why I said that you're, you're confusing because if you're talking about God and all the three persons. No, I asked you two different God, questions, not the one question. One. Hold on. If you I asked you separately for Godhead yeah. and I asked you separately for Jesus. Yeah. So don't tell me you're confused. No, 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 because you, what, because when you speak, you just say God. If you tell me Jesus nature, that God. Okay, Jesus has two natures, yes? Yeah. Human nature yeah. and divine nature. So when Jesus says, let it be your will, not mine, which will is he referring to? The human or divine? What? You will, the will of God. My name will. No, no, when he says will of God, wait, wait, wait. wait. It's when, divine will, yeah. Over there is praying to his father, that's very clear. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So we already have one will, when he says your will, that is the will of the father. Yeah. So that is, put that aside. That is something locked, we agree, yeah. we understand. 
the first bit is what we need to question yeah. when Jesus say not my will so when he's saying his will yeah. is it remember he's one person yeah. uh, okay so, why are you saying human will only he says my will. No, no no wait wait you see when I when I separate when when I try to say that the person died you try to say that the human and the nature human nature and the divine nature yes yeah. You said this is the human. This is the human will now. Yeah. Yes. Which one? What about the son's will? Does the son have a will? Where was it? Uh, where was the son's will at that time? Yeah. One is one. Is so where was the son's will at that time? Not to go to the cross. It wasn't. No, no. Where was the son? Remember, the son is the divine son. Yes. Where was his will? Because we talk about the will of the Father. Yeah. One. We talk about the human will of Jesus. Yes, and I wouldn't dispute that. That's fine. Where is the will of the Son? No, no. Where does it say that? You're speculating again. He's God. Who is God? Jesus. But Jesus is not the Father. He's not the Father. So if, if Jesus is not the Father, hello there. If Jesus is not the Father, yes. You're not on TV yet. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> okay. Jesus is not the Father. So when he says your will, we are not talking about the Father's will, are we? Uh, or we are talking about Father's will. Yeah. yeah. So this is the Father's will. But I, the question I'm asking you is that if Jesus says my, not by my will, but by the will of the Father, yes, what you're doing is that when Jesus says my will, yes, you're not looking at, at him as a person, as one person. Yes, you're looking at him as only human being now. No, uh, look at him at both. Because if he was the same, then he would have said, okay, we've got the same will, okay, I'll go to... But because you see, he separated them. Jesus says, "Not my will." He showed two differences, two different ones. So, which means that he has to be the human nature speaking. There. How do you raise a human nature only? Because it's only got two natures. So, so you're saying? Are you saying? Are you are you saying when he? Yeah. Brother from Canada. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna move to the Yeah. Okay. Let us wrap up after this because it looks like we're going in circles. Yeah. All right. So, so the important thing is this. Look, if Jesus, a if he was fully God, yeah. yes, the divine nature was in him yeah. at that time, yeah. and the human as well, yeah. yes. But what you have done is you have only taken the human nature as a will. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Them. Let me explain yeah. to you, yeah. all right? Because you're already looking for the next question while I'm explaining. That's why you don't understand, and I have to keep repeating it. So listen to this. Yeah. Why is Jesus one if he's fully God and fully man, praying to his God? As a man to show. People. Why only a man? Are you saying he was zero percent God? Exactly. So if he was 100% God, yeah. why did he not fulfill that? It was a simple thing to get he away from the crucifixion. He didn't come as God when he came. So he Sorry, started, he came as what? He came as a man. When Only man? No, you, you can't take the nature of God after Jesus, but he came as a man. I'm not taking, I'm keeping nature. it in there. No, no, but when he came on earth, he got to play the man nature. Because the God nature, he already had all his life. Oh, so you're so, telling me he only played the human nature during his ministry? Well, so when he, when he raised people well, from the dead, what yes. Yeah, oh, now the God nature comes. Yeah. You see, this is so a problem. No, the switch. The switch nature is according to their own whims and fancies, because when the weakness of Jesus God. comes, oh, yeah. it is the human nature. But when it comes to the mighty power of Jesus, the miracles, to oh, answer, it's the divine nature. Well, to answer your question, can you raise the dead? If you can't raise the dead, did I claim to be God? Said, uh, be did I claim to be God? No, so what's the point of asking me the question? Uh, that's what, that's you know what, Jesus. You want, you by the way, Jesus, by the way, the answer would you, you do you think do you think Jesus' prayer? You're a human being, right? Yeah. When you pray, is your prayer guaranteed? Uh, what do you mean by guaranteed? It means everything you pray, your prayers come true. Uh, answer the what do you mean? Every prayer you make to God is guaranteed to come true. You keep, keep to hear? Yeah. Every every prayer. So every prayer you make to God, it comes true. Uh, Can you make it sunny all all of August, please? Do, do, do you mean an uh, uh, answer? So what, what it's a mean? simple question, bro. Look, no, no, do you pray free. to God? When you say come through, you mean that can God hear my prayer? I'll okay, say, yes, let, let, me, let me rephrase because it looks like you misunderstood. Yeah. Have you prayed to God? Yeah. Has any of your prayers been unanswered? Uh, it's been, a, I would say, not an answer, but answer the wrong in the way I didn't want. Yes. Which means, which means you rejected your prayers. Because if you pray, yeah, for example, kind of. for example, if you pray, rejected, I would say wait, wait, wait. It, he doesn't want me to do. To that's it, that's, he, that's a semantics. Now you're playing yeah, with words. Yeah. It's semantics. So, for example, if I pray to God, yes, that God, please help me uh, with a particular job or a particular, uh, for example, if I wanted to pass an exam and I pray yeah. to God, please help me pass the exam, and I don't pass the exam, I would say that God rejected my prayer. 
Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want you to play with the words. A simple thing. I would say is reject, God rejected your prayers. But in Islam, Allah, we believe that even if God rejects your prayer and you pray something and it doesn't come true or it is not fulfilled, Allah is basically keeping it as an account in the hereafter. So you're getting a reward for that prayer which is not, not answered in a way. So you see Allah is merciful. Wait a minute. Now the, that is was the side point. The point I'm making is this. When you pray, some of your prayers are accepted. Some of your prayers are rejected. For example, when a woman prays, God, give me a child, give me a boy, give me a girl. But then she gets a boy instead of a girl and a girl instead of a boy, depending on the prayer. Yes. So her prayer to have a particular child is rejected because God wants her to have what he in his wisdom yeah. thinks right. You now, wait, 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 wait a minute. The reason for this question and I will wrap up after this. But if you want to answer that, that's fine. The prayer of Jesus was what? Yeah. And what is the, yeah, the cup signifies the crucifixion? All right. Which means he's telling God, if there's another way, show me, yeah. but save me from the crucifixion. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Have I understood it right? Yes. Obviously, it is with your will, not my will. Yeah. And every single human being, yes, when you pray to God, it is your will. Sorry, it is God's will, never your will. So even you don't need to say this in the prayer. It's, it's something that is a given. It's obvious. When a woman prays for a child and she doesn't have a child, she doesn't add at the end, by your will, God. She might add, there's nothing wrong in that. But the point is this, what is the prayer? The prayer of Jesus was to save him from the crucifixion. Yeah. Did his prayers get answered or rejected? Uh, rejected. By whom? The... So wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're saying you're, so you're saying your God's prayer got rejected. You're saying your God's prayer got rejected. Yes. Your son of God's prayer got rejected. Then yeah. what chances do you have of your prayers accepted, uh, being accepted? The prayers been, uh, rejected a lot. What prayer? What? Jesus' prayer. About the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, when he pleads with God to save him from the crucifixion with his will, not my will. So where does he say save him? What does the cup, no, no, what does the cup signify? No, can I, can I ask okay, anyway, listen, I have to go now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to wrap up. But where I'm going is not because of you, lady. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we have to pray and we have to, have to meet a few friends as well. Anyway, thanks, guys. But have a look at the video and you should comment on it. Because this guy, he says he'll become part of God.